So many times you guys have asked us to go to Raisin Cane's, so today, chicken tenders from Raisin Cane's, the first time on this channel will have ever gone. So Corey and myself are headed north toward, toward Toyd's Loyola Toys. University, where all those college kids are normally sucking these down. So now a couple of big fat 30 year olds are gonna come stomp around. And I'm gonna try to enroll and go back to college and go to some frat parties. <laughs> Bye. All right, Sixers, we're doing it. Raisin canes, bunch of tendies and fries and cane sauce acquired jump cut. All right, Corey Wagner, second angle. All right, let's take a look and see what we got. Boy, I didn't know it comes with this weird bread. Cool, dude. Crunkle fries, and then we got some tendies, and then we got that cane sauce. What up, what up, what up? Pretty basic looking. Like, these look like fries that you'd find in like a cafeteria line or something. Yeah, this whole thing looks super basic looking, but I'm excited for it still. Yeah, the chicken is supposed to be very crispy and very delicious, so it's a facto, we will put it in our mouths. I like the branding. Got your own styrofoam? That's how you know you made it big, dude. All right, here we go. Those crispy, crispy tenders from Raisin Cane's on the show today. Do I do one dry first? Let's yeah. touch dry, and then I'm gonna dip. Okay. Cheers. Cheers. You gonna say it? Sorry, cheers. My first time doing this. Mmm, sauce is good. I see why people go nuts for the sauce. Chicken's not that, it's not crispy. Pretty basic, dude. I go as far as to say it's uncrispy, it's soft. My breading was falling off the tender. This sauce is the truth, though. Mm-hmm. Very peppery. That sauce is right away one of the best dipping sauces I've had in a long time. 100%. And it's the type of sauce that you definitely want to dip your fries in, too. All right, don't worry, I didn't get diet. Both of these are sodas that I guarantee you like. Okay. Pick left or right. Left or right. And I'm not allowed to know what they are? No. Dang it. Why? I guess I can tell you. One is root beer. Okay. You love. That's not true. I thought you liked root beer a lot. Oh, and man. That's okay. <laughs> okay, and one is, Loved Dr. Though. one is Dr. Pepper. Neither of those do I like. Oh, I thought you liked root beer a lot. I thought in an episode you once talked about how you liked root beer in high school. I mean, I haven't really drank it since high school either, but. No, not, maybe. Damn, I was gonna get you regular Coke, but I thought you'd be more excited about root beer. Dude, that's so fun. Both of these you, you love. <laughs> Neither I of really those. thought, I didn't know people didn't like, didn't love Dr. Pepper and root beer. I thought those were two like classics. I mean, I guess it depends on how you define love. All right, which one do you hate less? You take whatever you want. Neither of those are like, they're both gar like not that. They're both the bottom of the barrel to me. Mm, okay, I'm gonna take Dr. Pepper. There you go. Yeah, I remember why I don't really care for that. I have fond memories of root beer float set with Grandma Flo. Look at that one. Do you have any ice cream in your pockets? Fresh out. Dang. I don't feel like we ordered incorrectly because the whole menu is just tenders. <laughs> this doesn't really... Man, people are like crazy for this. Popeye's tenders are better than this. Yeah, there was like... Like yours were falling off, mine were falling off, like the skin of it or whatever. And I did have one bite that had some like good crunch to it. But most of my bites, it was so like the skin was so soggy, it didn't have any crunch. I agree, there's just not a lot of crunch to it. I wonder what the deal is. It's not that it's bad, like people who are jump, jumping to conclusions, like it's just not like, we've had a lot of people comment that we need to go here. So I just thought it would have been really, really fantastic. No, Do you think a lot of people comment that? I've seen it a lot. Really? Yeah, oh yeah. Especially recently. Sometimes I wonder because sometimes you say like, a lot of people are doing this and I'll oh. think about it and I'll be like, oh, I remember that one comment. <laughs> no. So I can't tell because I know sometimes that's what you do on YouTube. Not you're even. Like, you like hype it up and be like, we for sure. got a lot of that. And it's like one. <laughs> you're all saying one, it. One person said it or whatever. Uh, Maybe like seven people a said lot, it. A <laughs> lot or a lot that's somewhere like around the, a lot. It was like a lot of people said it. It's kind of say like that. How many people said it? A lot. Like, kind of surprised at the amount. Yeah. But by no means would it, like, fill a scene for extras. <laughs> Us defining the six different definitions of the inflection of the way you can say a lot. Yeah. Almost as lame as this chicken. So I think the eyes have a lot to do with it. So going back to your original question, have a lot of people said it? A Such lot have said it, but it's not, it's not a lot of people have said it. <laughs> <laughs> We're so dumb. <laughs> Did you try this? I'm kind of afraid to, dude. 
Oh, oh it's not crispy oh. at all. <laughs> it looks because it's so. It's so doughy. It's like brown, so I thought it'd be like fried up or something. That looks like something that I'd like. <laughs> I'm not eating that, bro. You've ever seen my dad had one of these for like a nice pair of uh, penny loafers? Right. He'd have this like wood thing you'd stick in a shoe so that it doesn't. Yeah, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. This looks like something I would just <laughs> stick in a shoe to keep its form. <laughs> wow, dude. Very, really, truly underwhelmed by this. You know what I'm most bummed about is that I'm most pleased with the freaking crinkle fries. Yeah. Minus the sauce. The sauce is out. Yeah, I would dope. butt chug the sauce. Yeah, that sauce is true. Man, so we drove, I mean, up to, you know, Loyola's campus in, you know, not a terrible drive, like 20 minutes from Corey's apartment probably. And I, I wouldn't travel, I wouldn't travel five minutes for this. Man, what a son of a B. You know, when you have high expectations, that's what I gotta stop doing. I gotta stop thinking I'm gonna have a good time. Mm -hmm. I need to go into every situation going, this is gonna suck. It's probably not gonna be that fun either. <laughs> gonna hang out with Corey. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and then I'd be, be like, pleasantly we, surprised. Wow, we made some good fun jokes together. And then you'll say, we had a, a lot of fun. I'd be like, we had a lot of fun. <laughs> I wonder how many people are gonna say they like this video a lot. <laughs> <laughs> All right, before we go ahead and rate the Raisin Cane's chicken tendies, let's do a shout out. Merch shout out, merch shout out, merch shout out. Check it out, ladies and gentlemen. We're wearing a couple of our shirts. That's because we sell them. Go to our website and check them out, number six with cheese.com. If you want some merch, if you want some apparel, we can give it to you. But if you want some hot sauce, that's the move to make, I think. Son of a. <laughs> Sorry. Is that a. That was. Come? <laughs> I overdid that a lot. <laughs> Sorry. Yeah, we'll probably say some names now. Merch shout out number one goes to Mr. Ryan Teske. <laughs> Ryan bought three bottles of Sixer Sauce. Mad respect, we love you for it. We mailed those out to Sterling, Illinois. Ooh. Never heard of it. Me neither, I don't know what I said, <laughs> Merch shout out number two, loyal fan of the show, Mr. Kevin Fandry. <laughs> Kevin lives in Omaha, Nebraska, and he bought also trace bottles of Sixer Sauce. So Kevin, I love you. <laughs> number oh, Sixer wow. G. He bought this on my birthday. He placed this order on my birthday. Ooh, March 11th? No, dumbass. <laughs> shit ass friend. <laughs> Fucking loser. <laughs> Fucking loser. What's my birthday? Uh, February 24th. <laughs> Was that right? Yeah. Yes. Damn, you're the better friend. Yes. March 9th? Nope. March 10th? No. Nope. March 7th? No. Nope. March 12th? No. Nope. You're March, all very close. March sixth. Yes. Your birthday's on March sixth. Yeah, dude. Oh, frack, dude. Just think, when's Shaquille O'Neal's birthday? Everyone knows March sixth, and then you can just be like, that's the same as Corey Wagner's. Wow, that's true. I did definitely know Shaquille O'Neal's <laughs> birthday. <laughs> go ahead, and get my shakaroni. Mm. It's really good. <laughs> all right, uh, let's go ahead and do this thing. Out of five uh, North Carolina jerseys, on a raise up. That's what I thought of. Take your service on the hell of um, Out of five North Carolina jerseys, how many North Carolina jerseys do you give the chicken tenders? We won't do the fries. Let's do the tenders and the sauce. Like, that is the entree, Ooh, that right? That makes it tough. Tenders okay. and sauce. Because so it's just tenders would be easier, but tenders and sauce. I think you should include the sauce with it because no one's eating those naked, dude. Yeah. You gotta be crazy. Mm -hmm. What do you give it out of five? <laughs> it's so tough because the chicken was not good at all. Right. And the sauce was amazing. I know. Dude, ah. I don't know, 2.6. It was garbage. I don't even want to say 2.6. Like, I'm going to be honest with you, don't go there. Like, I don't think the sauce really saves it. No, like, you shouldn't go to a place for a condiment. Dude. Yeah, that's a really like, sad. The best kitchen. Imagine being like, dude, I'm picking my friend Brian up. We're going to get some of that sauce. And yeah. that chick like, no, that's sad. Sauce was a five, chicken was a one. Add them together, divide it by two. That's a three. I'm going to give it a three. I mean, I don't think that... You were at 2.6, I'm only 0.4 higher. Yeah, I just don't think that logic it works It doesn't out. make any sense. Yeah, because that wasn't a... Th that didn't feel like a three. No. I don't think you can add and divide and get the... No, I don't should. think that works with this. I already screwed up, I said three. But so. it's all take right. Take his score. It's all right. Today, you know what, today, take his score. <laughs> he was smarter, he did it correctly, and he's not a dunce. Uh, guys, that was a Raising Cane's video. Let us know if you like Raisin Cane's. Uh, if you think the tenders that we got today didn't stack up to what they should, because if that's what they're supposed to look like and taste like, I'm telling you guys, Popeyes is better. Popeyes reigns supreme in the Sando world and in the Tendies world. Mm -hmm. We'll see you tomorrow for a brand new video, as we always do five days a week on this channel. Thank you so much for watching. Go buy the merch to support the channel. And if you're mad about that Raisin Cane's video, go make one yourself. You know, use your phone. <laughs>